Hey guys, Nicole here at DIY here with you today. I'm going to show you how I turn my frosty yellowed headlights into brand new looking and how I'm going to protect them for the next three to five years. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to start off with giving it a good clean with some wax and grease remover. Next up, I'm going to tape off the entire light. Next up, I'm going to use a range of wet sandpapers. So the wet sandpapers in my country are usually this color. I'm going to go from 600 all the way to 2000 grit. If you can go to 3000 grit, that's probably a little bit better. And I've also got myself just a little um, sanding sponge, which these are just going to be wrapped around just so I can get around the curve of the light. Also got just an empty spray bottle that I've filled up with water just to keep wetting the light. I've also got a bucket of water. I'm gonna make sure my sandpaper is nice and wet. So I've got my sanding sponge nice and wet and my sandpaper nice and wet. I'm just gonna wrap that around there. Wet down my light really, really well. And we're gonna work in horizontal motions for this 600 grit and then when we get to the 800 grit we're going to go in vertical motions and you'll see this oxidization starting to come off already we've got lots of yellow coming off Okay, let's have a little check at how we're looking in terms of our yellowness. So it should be very foggy at this stage, even worse than when you started. That's okay. That's what we get off by going through the different stages of sandpaper. And then the next steps after that as well. Still pretty yellow, so I'm going to keep going for another few minutes. All right, so here we are looking quite good. Um, I'm not seeing much yellow there at all. Over here, I'm not sure if you can pick it up that well on camera, but it's very yellow over this side where I haven't done yet. Let's get this side done. And then we can move to the next sandpaper. So that took about 15 minutes, um, just doing it in three different sections. Um, it just depends on how oxidized um, and foggy your headlights are as to how long you're going to need to do each stage for. But you want to try and get as much of the yellow off as you possibly can with that 600 grit. Alright, let's move forward in the grits. So there's how our 800 grit is looking. Let's move on to 1200. Alright, let's see how our 1200 looks. We should still be hazy at this point, but I can feel that this is a lot smoother. So when the oxidization is actually on there, the light actually feels really, really rough. This is starting to feel really, really nice and smooth. Just to show you halfway through the 2000 grit versus the 1200 grit, you can see we are almost able to see completely through. Don't worry, we have two more steps after this to see crystal clear headlights. Alright, that's our final of this wet sanding. So what we're going to do is give this a good clean down with some soapy water and then move on to the next step. 
So next up, we are gonna use cutting compound. So this basically is a very, very light abrasive and it's just gonna buff out a lot of that haze. So you can do this by hand if you want to. Add a little bit of water using um, something like a microfiber cloth and just going in circular motions. But I'm gonna use my electric buffer because I'm lazy. For the cutting compound, I've popped the lamb's wool cover just on my buffer so that this can give a more aggressive buff. And then when we switch to the next stage, we're gonna go for something a bit softer. Be sure to keep the buffer moving at all times because it can actually heat up the plastic and will melt your headlight. Next up, we are gonna go with car polish. I'm gonna to switch to either the foam pad or a microfiber cover on the buffer. I'm going to do another layer of polish by hand. Okay, now I'm going to let this dry to a white haze. Okay, let's go back in with another buff and I've got my soft dry clean cloth on here. <laughs> So here we have the final look at the polish. We still aren't done yet, guys. We're gonna put another layer on, but I just wanted to show you close up. It is absolutely not perfect in any way. If I go right in, I can definitely see some sort of vertical and horizontal scratches. To me, like I have to come like right up close to be able to see those. I've also got still just a little bit of haze in here, which I could go back in with the polish, just do one or two more polishes in that section. But to me, I'm like, that's totally fine. <laughs> I've got to do the whole other headlight yet. So I am so happy with that. Let's have a look at the other headlight. Look at that difference. That is crazy. I can barely even see through this one at all. Like new. So the last step in our process is to apply some protection so this doesn't happen again. If you just leave it and there's no protection on it, it will within six months probably be very foggy and slightly yellow again. So this that I'm choosing to use is a clear protective film. I've gone for a cheap version off eBay. I will leave the link down below in my description, but you could also opt for spray on clear um, gloss clear coat. Um, so that's what some people use, uh, but apparently within about a year, it will start to go foggy again, and then you've got to sort of buff it back. Whereas with this clear film, you can simply remove this um, in three to five years when it starts to go foggy and you can put a new layer on. 
Now this particular film has a layer on the front and then a layer on the back and the film itself is quite thin. The back of the film, once you take the backing off, is sticky. So that's what goes against the headlight. And you also need to spray everything down with soapy water. So you're gonna be spraying the headlight and the sticky side of your protective film and then bring them together. So you can see I've just taped it onto above my headlight here, just so it's easy to get in the right position and then fold it down into place. Now it won't feel sort of sticky as you're putting it on here. You don't want it to feel super sticky at this point. You wanna be able to sort of squish out all of that soapy water as you're going. And as you're squishing out that soapy water, then that stickiness is allowed to actually stick to your headlight. Now, my protective film did not come with any kind of squeegee, so I'm actually using um, a silicon spatula from my kitchen cupboard and I just took the handle off, so that's what I'm using here. But if you can, just get the right tool. You can grab them from auto stores really cheap, a couple of bucks. Just take your time, go really slowly. This is a painstaking process. You're also going to need to use either a hairdryer or a heat gun. I'd be very careful if you're using a heat gun. I'm using just a hairdryer. Now, what you're effectively doing here is trying to shrink that plastic around those corners of the edges. And you're just getting out those last few little bubbles towards the edge as well. Be careful not to sort of pull on the plastic with your hands and kind of stretch it because you're really wanting it to shrink around the whole curves of the light. You're also going to need to just cut some little slits all the way around the light just so that you can work on little sections at a time and you don't have huge sections sort of stuck to the edging um, outside your headlight. Only trim up to the edge of the headlight once you get in little sections that are nice and flat. If you try and do it all at this stage, it might uh, fall short in some places. If you've got a really wrinkly bit, you can lift it up. Just make sure you spray some soapy water underneath there because you should always be smoothing the water out, not air. Air will just stick. Keep working all the way around until you get it on as smooth as you can. Not gonna lie, it's really hard. Are you ready to see the final result after all this hard work? How satisfying is this beautiful crystal clear look? If this was helpful for you guys, please let me know by dropping a comment below, a like, and consider subscribing. You can also tag me on Insta if you do the same to your car. Thanks for watching, guys.